Very cool Cronus case. Looks like it has an X on the front. So I chose a red X from DC Comics. And I want to put his face on the front panel. Let's see how it turns out. Started taking everything that I didn't want, including the rear fan right here, because I'm gonna use other fans. Take the front panel off, and then I want it to have a flat surface. I needed to remove this LED Thunder X3 uh, on the front here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some tape on the back. So when I put some resin on the front to basically fill in those holes, uh, I can go ahead and let it dry and we can go ahead and sand it and make it all nice and smooth and ready for a paint job. I printed off um, some of the vinyl stickers that I'm gonna use to spray paint this uh, using my Silhouette Cameo Plus, which is a 15 inch vinyl cutter, which basically cuts like stickers and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, we're going to put some of these stickers uh, or the vinyl on here. Uh, so it'll protect the black and protect some of the um, places that we want to paint. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place down some of the stickers with the eyes, and then we're gonna spray paint it red, and then we're gonna go ahead and peel off um, what we want, and then put on maybe this little red X here to protect the red, spray paint it white, and then I'll spray paint down here white. And uh, yeah, let's get it done. First I'm gonna throw down uh, the black coat here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it real quick. I'm just gonna rough it up just a, just a tish and then we'll probably throw down just a little thin layer of uh, black spray paint around the sticker to prevent bleeding. All right, now let's go ahead and throw down a little paint around the outside there to prevent the bleeding. All right, so we just sprayed um, over the vinyl stickers there to uh, get it a good seal so there's no bleeding going on uh, when I put on the red, just in case uh, the red seeps in underneath the sticker. So now that we threw down our red coat, we're gonna go ahead and throw down the red X vinyl where we want to protect the red. So everything underneath this vinyl sticker is gonna stay red. And a thin coat of red around the edges to prevent bleeding. And we'll wet sand again in between these different color coats and so the white paint will adhere better. And so we'll throw down multiple thin coats of the white paint and it looks like I forgot to record uh, putting the vinyl on the bottom of the front panel there of his mask. So whatever, deal with it. Printing off the big red X that I'm gonna throw on the back panel uh, with my Cameo Plus vinyl cutter. Works real slick. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove that because I want that to be red. Then I put some transfer tape on top of that vinyl uh, to basically put that on the back panel there. And then I'll take the transfer tape off, leaving the vinyl behind. And then we'll go ahead and spray paint that red X. Stencil here, we're gonna go ahead and spray paint this gray. All right, time to throw down some uh, of this gray paint 
uh, with the logo for the AeroCool uh, Aorus EKWB and Intel. Um, so let's go ahead and throw down a couple light coats and stuff. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and throw on this monoblock. This thing is gorgeous. Look at this work of art. I'm just gonna water cool everything on the motherboard here. And then we already threw um, our thermal pads down uh, per the manual. It's gonna cool the VRMs and stuff, the NVMe and stuff. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and plug in uh, cables for the LED and um, CPU and stuff. And this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna flip it over and screw in the CPU backplate. This thing is a beast. It is heavy. All right, now let's install some other gorgeous RAM here. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, it does. It's uh, 32 megahertz and um, CL16. These are eight a piece, so a total of 32 gigs we're gonna have here. All right, let's peel this sucker. Ooh, that's nice. There we go, there we go. Nice. Now that's a gorgeous motherboard. All right, let's drop this. Uh, Motherboard on in. All right, time to install two 240 radiators in here. Uh, I'm going to be using the EK Coolstream PE. Um, they are great radi radiators. And then we're going to put on these new Lee and Lee AL120 fans. Let's do it. 